Las Vegas Strip has largely been a ghost town for the last two months with casino security guards outnumbering visitors. But there is a shift happening. Last week, the Nevada Gaming Control Board released its guidelines for casinos to reopen safely, largely mirroring the WINS proposal put forward weeks before. 50% capacity, thermal scanners at entrances, partitions between slot machines and fewer people at gaming tables is being pushed as the new norm. Casino leaders maintain it will be a slow process. MGM will only open up a handful of properties initially, and today in a live stream, we learned Caesars is taking a similar approach, starting with Caesars Palace and going from there. When in Treasure Island ambitiously hope for a late May reopening, while today the Las Vegas Sands Corporation announced they're aiming for a June reopening for their Venetian and Palazzo properties, all contingent on Governor Steve Sisolak's approval in either Phase 3 or 4. Part of the requirement in the governor's roadmap to recovery includes increased testing, Former MGM CEO and state COVID-19 task force leader Jim Murin talked to us about it last week. Testing will give us more information. We will know more about the trajectory of the virus. Um, and it will mean that we'll be able to um, prioritize who can get tested based on what they do in the economy. We've already seen Wynn employees testing, and today we're seeing that applied at the Venetian, where Sands employees, now to be paid until reopening, are being screened for COVID before hopefully returning to work next month. I'm Christopher Redfern, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.